Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Carl Puyol card to review today. It's an SBC player. Uh, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'10", medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills with a three star weak foot. Now, with Carl Puyol, guys, by default, um, I do feel like his pace is on the lower side for the meta of this game, right? So you're mostly gonna have to use him in a four at the back formation. Although I do want to see how good he is uh, defensively as much as possible. So we will be working with uh, an 87 for acceleration and a 90 for sprint speed, which I, like I said, I think is very low for the meta of the game uh, to kind of respond to certain situations very quickly. What you kind of have to hope for when it comes to his usability in game is going to be his very high defensive stats. But obviously when you give a shadow chemistry style to most of the cards that have pace, I feel like that's always gonna be super ideal. Uh, with shooting, he has absolutely no shooting capabilities. Passing is okay for a center back. Should be higher, to be honest, because of prime Barcelona days, but uh, it is what it is. Dribbling on the card, not in the greatest of areas. With Puyol in game, let's see what his body type is at a five foot 10. So Puyol has a stocky body type, right? So stocky body type with 58 agility, 57 for balance, and a 50 for dribbling. Uh, usually if it's like a unique body type, like a Varane card, uh, sometimes their unique body types compensate really well. Varane is taller, has like his own animations, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's why people enjoy using that Varane card a lot. You usually see him and Ruben Diaz linked up together uh, for the foot champ squads that people usually use, right? But uh, his dribbling is quite low, which doesn't help because of his pace being low as well. So, you know, those kind of work together uh, with the aggression as well. So we're gonna be testing out that. Uh, again, for defensive stats, his stats are very high for this card. Uh, when you give him the Shadow Chemistry style, it is in the perfect area. So that's the thing that you have to kind of hope for uh, the most is that that part of the card is as good as possible. And then last but not least, for physical capabilities, the card is at a 94 for strength, 92 for aggression, and then a 92 for jumping. So yeah, the main things here, is going to be seeing whether or not he's a good defensive player without the pace, which, to be honest, I dealt because I think pace is definitely a very, very important thing to have in this game, but we'll see. Uh, with this card, guys, we're going to be working with the 3-5-2. Uh, again, you, you don't, you don't want to use a card like this in a 3-5-2. We just test out this formation because we try out other cards while showing you guys whether or not the pace can affect the card, right? So we'll play him in that center back position, and uh, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully, he's uh, a decent card to use. Oh, LaFont, that's horrible. Uh, no crazy interception there by Puyol for that uh, little play right there. Oh, let's go, Puyol. That's, all I, that's what I need you for, buddy, all right? Oh, well done. Doesn't have the pace normally, but as well there. Just have to block that area there. Nice, Puyol. I'm going to need that defensive capability from you, my G. I'll trigger defense. I just have to control that general area. Uh, unlucky. Well, this game's a sluggish mess right now. See, I got that ball there, but you can see that the pace part of the card is where he can be a letdown, obviously. Well done, Puyo. Well positioned for a defensive play. Oh man, I gotta get the ball with possession, please. Mm. 
No, dude, what is that? We're back in it, though. Wheel is just never going to be fast for those. That's just a thing. What a throw. Oh, thank goodness, Puyol. If you don't have the pace, I need you to have the tackles at least, brother. Oh, he goes for a jumping animation at least there. See, that's what you have to rely on the most with Puyol. You have to rely on his defensive capabilities because the pace part is not there, right? sure why Puyol didn't initially stick to that center back position like he's kind of like on the outside but at least he gets a challenge afterwards huh? and Puyol well positioned hmm weird there no uh specific animation from Puyol to get that ball I did nothing from the um, wish guys touch too. Hmm, he does get the block there though. You gotta rely on that AI with Puyol for sure. I'll take that. Nice. Manual goalkeeping, we still scored. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Icon Moments SBC Puyo card. So uh, we gave him the Shadow Chemistry style, guys, to try to improve his pace and defense as much as possible to kind of compensate for the pace and the dribbling being as it is. Uh, so in-game, guys, this for me is not necessarily a card that I would get personally, right? So obviously, uh, the pace being really low in the game definitely influences the card a lot. Um, it works with his stocky body type and dribbling stats a certain way where he's almost like restrictive in the way that he runs into certain positions. Um, I do feel like in previous years, I think in last year's game or two years ago, um, his defensive capabilities were actually really good. Again, though, was the pace being low. Uh, the defensive capabilities on this card, I feel like is not good because of how his dribbling and pace is set up for the meta of the game this year, right? So Carlos Puyol is definitely the type of card that if you are good enough for the game, you could definitely make him work for sure. Uh, just not necessarily an SBC that I would complete because the dribbling works with a stocky body type in five foot 10 a certain way for this year's game where it doesn't feel special. And I feel like it doesn't feel special because of how low the pace is. I feel like with uh, the meta of FIFA and EA needing to understand that pace is very important in this game to avoid as much as possible, uh, to concede those like counter-attacking through ball, law pass type goals, they have to boost his pace more, right? They have to give him uh, the 97 acceleration, the 97 for sprint speed. And, you know, most people will be against that in certain ways, but that's just the meta of the game. Like you need to have that to make these cards um, as usable as possible. It's obviously very nice to have physical capabilities. And in his case, he has that stocky body type and a five foot 10 height. It's just that, you know, the pace just does not work with the card that well. There's certain situations where it almost feels like he doesn't do anything, right? Like I said, he had this like, I, I personally feel like in previous years, he had this like bulldog personality in game. He just lacked in the pace this year. I just didn't really uh, mess with the card that much. We were trying him out on the main account as well as the review account because you know how people are when you when they see loan cards, right? So um, yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. The card is 420K on the market, which I personally would not pay for. And as an SBC, he's at 371K. So to be fair, the SBC value of the card um, is significantly less than the market value of the card. Uh, but for me personally, this is the type of card that I see people mostly getting uh, for sentimental value more than it is for quality in-game, right? It's just going to be for that 
past and present Barcelona squad that people may or may not want to work with, right? That's what I feel like he's going to be used for mostly. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.